The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the December 18th, wonderful Wednesday edition of today's opening bell on The Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I absolutely treasure your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with the tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that is what it's all about. Hope everybody out there had a great Tuesday, great Tuesday evening. Great to be back with you. Let's go take a look at one of our tools. This is the tool I call What You See is what you get. What you see is what you get. Now, some of you may have envisioned Geraldine, you know, from the Flip Wilson show. What you see is what you get. And then, those from a younger generation, well, you may think I'm talking about WYSIWYG, you know, the computer acronym. What you see is what you get. But what I'm really referring to is one of the laws of life. And the question is, who is doing the scene? Because what you see is what you get. Now, it's an incredible Wednesday morning, isn't it? At least that's what I see. Yet, there are two types of people that woke this morning. Similar conditions in life with vastly different thought processes. Through one's eyes, one person said, Good morning, God. And the other said, Good God morning. Same words, but way different meaning. And yes, folks, what you see is what you get. We should always remember the one thing we can control in life. In fact, it's the only thing we can control in life, and that's the meaning that we give to something. Question, is your glass half empty or half full? It does make a difference because what you see is what you get. Question, do you believe that the universe provides you with opportunity? And how often? Is it all of the time? Are you worry, wary of offers that the universe makes to you? In fact, how do you determine which offers are sincere? Hmm, something to think about. You know, there's an Eastern legend uh, tale uh, tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land. The king presented her with a bag of pearls and promised her that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find in the bag. However, he set down these conditions, these three conditions. Number one, she must choose one pearl only. Number two, she must remove one pearl at a time from the bag and either accept it or reject it. And number three, she could not pick that pearl up again for another look once it was rejected. Folks, quite often, uh, or actually we think about it, how would you like that? How would you like the universe to provide you with that? You know, so the young maiden, she began taking the pearls one at a time out of the bag. And in the process, she saw and held many large and perfect pearls. But she was looking for the one gem that would be just a little larger, maybe a little bit more perfect. So she passed up on many special treasures. Now here's the thing. As she delved deeply into the bag, the pearls became smaller and of poor quality. Occasionally she found pebbles instead of pearls. And then the deeper she went, the pebbles became more common. Sadly, she went away empty-handed. Empty -handed. Now, let's replace the pearls with time, because we cannot go back even two seconds, nor can, we leave, nor can we leap forward. We live in the eternal moment of now. And with that being said, now is the most important moment of your life. It's not a philosophy, it's a fact. And those looking for a perfect pearl, the perfect offer from the universe, they're likely to miss out on what was the perfect pearl. Yes, folks, what we see is what we get. And since we live in the eternal moment of now, when now is a good time to sign up for my offer to you, a free subscription to Mastering Probability, and more importantly, the most amazing pearls that I can find when it comes to trading and investing. You know what I created? The Rhodes Momentum Indicator Market Analyzer Trading Strategy. 
Look, folks, regardless of your experience or lack thereof, this is a set of tools that you want to have in your toolbox. So the good folks here at TFNN, they're allowing me to offer you a stocking stuffer when it comes to your trading. So when now are you going to take advantage of this offer from the universe? One thing is for sure, this offer ends on Thursday, folks. Go sign up now. We're gonna, it's going to be a great showing. It's going to be a set of tools that you absolutely do want to understand. So, folks, like Flip Wilson used to say, what you see is what you get. I can't do a very good, uh, can't do a very good imitation of that, but that was what I thought of when I first started putting this together last night. In any event, let's go take a look at these markets out here. Let's go see what we can see out here. Dow futures, they're up 39 points. They're trading out at 15,849. S&P futures, they're up four points, trading at 1777. NASDAQ futures up eight and a half points, trading out at 3469. Russell 2000 up a couple points. King dollar up a nickel right now. It's trading out at $80.26. Uh, we got uh, light Swede crude up 26 cents. Silver's up a dime. It's trading out at 1994 silver is trading up two dollars and sixty cents out at 1232 our call in number you know it 877-927-6648 give us a call folks we can take a look at uh, your stock chart anything that you'd like if we take a quick peek around the globe we're going to find the dax is up 96 points it's up one percent here this morning boy they're having a little party out there the FTSE is up uh, two tenths of a percent it's up 15 bucks a big party over in uh, japan a little bit of sake drinking hey i think it's a wonderful wednesday i think tonight calls for a little bit of uh, sake not too much got a big workshop to uh to uh uh, to, to deliver tomorrow, so I can't have too much sake on Sake Wednesday. However, the Nikkei was up 309 points. That was up 2% here last night. The Hang Seng up 3 tenths of a percent, up 75 points. The Shanghai off 3. So where do we begin? Well, it is, look, it's, uh, it is wonderful Wednesday. It's Ben Bernanke, you know, coming out day, celebrate, well, not coming out, going away day. So his little going away party, presumably his going away party here as the uh, Fed chairman and all those fireworks. And there should be fireworks just simply as a celebration. So we're going to see if the market's going to have some fireworks and some celebration. The key is which direction is the market going to move in? You know, let's forget, let's assume that uh, Ben Bernanke wasn't uh, coming out today, the FOMC wasn't meeting today, you know, they were in hibernation, they had no impact on the markets. How about if we just simply try to take them out of the picture, because I think that's what we should do, and let's just go take a look at the stock charts, and let's look at it on different time frames, different instruments, and get a feel for where the larger trends are and what's going on. So let's start off, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, and I hope you are, or if you're watching us on the live stream on your mobile device or your iPad, I hope you are. Remember, you can always get that by going to the homepage of TFN.com. Upper right-hand side, you see a box, three smartphones in it. Click on that. This show streams live, and you see in my upper left-hand screen, you see the NASDAQ uh, futures. In the lower left, you see the uh, Russell 2000 futures. Upper right, you see the S&P futures. Lower uh, right, you see the uh, Dow futures. Now, three of those uh, quadrants, three of those panels, so beautiful buy patterns out there. I don't care whose book it is that you might read or whether it's just simply you're learning the uh, Gartley buy and sell patterns. you got three beautiful Gartley buy patterns inside the Russell 2000, inside the ES Mini, and inside the Dow Futures. And when I say nice patterns, let's take a look at the ES Mini. Let's start with it first on the ES Mini here. And what we're doing is we're coming off of the swing point low from November 8th. That price level there, 1736.50. That makes the point seven eight six retracement Sunday evening. Sunday evening at about midnight price moves down into the uh, low of 1754 so from the low swing point that we're using out here on november 8th to the high swing point on uh, the day after thanksgiving november 29th it makes a point seven eight six retracement really the b to c swing point it says 1.69 on my screen here but if we blow it up it probably gets to about 1.618 uh, right around that level so nice fibonacci numbers coming together you came off of the uh, you came off of the low with conviction it had good volume, nice wide-ranging bar to the upside out here. So that is a buy pattern that is set up. Hasn't failed yet. A failure will be a close below 1754. It's as simple as that. And if this pattern here fails, because it has worked thus far, it will turn into a butterfly. So it's very easy to understand where failure will uh, take us. Failure will take us down to about 1715 to maybe about the uh, 1690 level out there because of 
failed Gartley turns into a butterfly. If it's a successful pattern, there's really one of, uh, well, there's one of uh, four spots that we can take a look at that are logical. Well, the first spot's already been hit, and that was a point three eight two level. That was at 1776, and that was hit immediately on that day. That was saying, hey, I want 1790. That's your sweet 618 area. That has not been hit. 1799, that would certainly be, that's your point seven eight six retracement here, but really the ultimate outcome of this pattern is that it forms the C point of a new A to B equals C D up. So we know what the downside, the downside of this failed pattern takes you to probably the 1690 area. The upside potential, the upside takes you to a new A to B equals C D and probably a one to one uh, level, one to one A to B equals C D, which is about the 1829 area. So that's what our targets are. But what is interesting is what has set up here is a Gertley buy pattern in the ES Mini. We come back, we'll go take a look at that Gertley buy pattern. This is the daily charts that we're looking at here. We'll go take a look at the daily charts on the Dow. We'll go take a look at it on the Russell 2000. And then we'll take a look at the weekly charts. See what the weekly charts and the monthly charts are telling us. We'll be right back, folks. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically high dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. 
Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. What you see, what you see, is what you get. It's what you get. What you see, what you see, is what you get. It's what you get. Alberto, there's no one better in the house than our man in the production room, Alberto, out there. Right now, we've got the Dow Futures up 36 points, so that's where we're going to pick up here. The Dow Futures, that's the contract that we're looking at. Now, when we took a look at the ES Mini just before we went into the break, the difference between only watching the ETF structures, the SPY in that case, or just looking at the S&P 500, you would have missed that void of price activity that took place overnight Sunday evening. And that's the real importance of being able to have access to the uh, futures contracts, especially if you're trading patterns. If you are a pattern recognition trader and you're making your decisions about what's going on inside of one of the indexes out here or the ETF structures, you must you absolutely must. You've got to make this a must. Get access to a data feed, whatever it is, so that you can fill that void of price. Because you wouldn't know. In fact, I can't go back to the S and P 500 and create this per or the Dow. I can't go back and create this perfect 0.786 Gartley buy pattern. If we were creating a textbook, which we are, we're doing that here right now. We're creating a uh, we're creating an ebook, a live ebook out here. We would show you that this is absolutely a a textbook type of Gartley buy pattern that formed out here. Why do I say that? Well, number one, we've got three Fibonacci numbers when it comes to the uh, Dow. You've got your swing point that you're using here from November 5th. We're using that swing point low. That price is at 15, 456, all the way up to that November 29th swing point high. And that's up at 16, 162. It makes the required A to B equals CD down pattern. And it does that. And it gets into a low here Sunday evening at a price level of 15,608. That happens to be the .786 retracement. So we've got a 786 retracement of our, our, of our X to uh, uh, D leg, if you will, or A to B equals C, D down. We've got a .786 retracement that formed the C to D leg or the B to C retracement out here. And the uh, B to C expansion, 1.618. It doesn't get too much better than that. Well, the only way that it gets better than that is to have some type of reversal signal out here. And in essence, that's really what the uh, Dow gave us. So if the these markets do sell off on whatever news that Uncle Ben Bernanke uh, gives. You know, it, it's not really the news that he delivers. It's just simply how the market is going to go ahead and respond to it. This failed Gertley buy pattern. And you have to respect if if you knew nothing, and in other words, no, I don't say if you knew nothing, that all of a sudden sounds like maybe Schultze, I know nothing, right? If if we just simply just discounted the fact that uh, of what was going on inside uh, you know at two o'clock today with the FOMC and you were taking a look at this pattern here, would you take this as a long trade or a short trade? That's the first question I would ask you for those of you that are pattern recognition type style traders out here. The answer is you would take this as a long position. I don't care what your thought process is. And if you wouldn't, then call in and tell me why you wouldn't take this Gartley buy pattern of the one that was in the ES Mini out there. Because as patterns go, it doesn't get any more... Imperfect is a word I hate to use because it doesn't really exist. Perfection doesn't exist. Don't strive for perfection. It's like the story this morning of the young maiden looking for perfection. You strive for perfection, you'll never get anywhere, folks, because you just simply try to be extraordinary. And this is an extraordinary uh, 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 Gartley buy pattern that is out here. Now, what we do know is that not all buy patterns work. And if this case, in this case here, if it fails, it'll turn into a butterfly. Where will that take the uh, Dow? It'll take it down to 15264, 15020 would be your 1.618 expansion. That would be the likely move. Now, 
when we take a look at what else was going on inside of the uh, Dow futures, well, you came back, it came back, price came back and test that 1,000 point consolidation move. So when we take a look at that, we know where the downside uh, is here on the uh, failed pattern. And the upside, you know, certainly is that same like A to B equals CD that takes you up in about the 16,316. But this Dow, it wants to, I can't tell you when, and in fact, it wants to as long as it doesn't break the lows of around 14,500. It wants to get up to that 16,005, 16,600 range out there. That's the consolidation pattern that it has broken out of. And guess what? It came back on Sunday evening and it tested that and it rejected it. So the Dow on the daily basis on the futures contract has got all the pattern uh, recognition that you would like out here. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, hey, Russell 2000, same thing, same setup up here. Great uh, 0.786 Gartley buy pattern, nice and confirmed, nice wide ranging bar out here. That says that what the uh, Russell should do or the uh, the outcome here. Let's take a look at it. If we take a look at a failed pattern, if this pattern fails, this is going to send the Russell down into about the uh, 1054 to 1029 area. 1054, that's your 1.272 expansion to the uh, downside. In 1029, your 1.68. Likewise, if this turns out to be one of the ultimate one of the ultimate uh, Gartley buy patterns. It'll set up a at least a one-to-one move to the upside. That'll take us to about the 1165 range. So we come back. Let's take a look at some of the other markets, gold, elox, silver. And let's take a look at the longer-term charts that uh, we're looking at here this morning. 877-927-6648. Be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. With over three decades of trading experience, Andy Hecht brings a tremendous amount of knowledge and expertise to each weekly issue of his newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. The Technomental Commodity Report gives you Andy's unique technomental analysis of the commodities market, a combination of technicals and fundamental analysis which he has developed and perfected over his many years of trading. The Technomental Commodity Report is only $49 a month, and right now you can get a full month-long trial subscription while paying absolutely nothing. See for yourself the kind of weekly report Andy delivers to his subscribers every Thursday morning. You'll receive specific stock, ETF, and option trades based on Andy's analysis, so no futures account is required. For all the details and to start your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, visit TFNN.com today. 
Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading, and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Races. We got the Dow up 40 points, trading out at 15.915. S&P's up two, trading at 17.83. Composite up two and a half points, trading out at 40.26. Russell 2000 up one, a, about a buck 40, trading out at 11.20. Apple down five bucks right now. Microsoft off 29 cents. Google up two bucks in change. Lead the charge to the upside. Velasquez Communication, VCI is a ticker symbol. They're up 21% out here. Mm, what is, uh, may, must be an acquisition. Uh, Harlan Clark Holdings is going to acquire Velasquez for 34 bucks a share. It's trading at 34 bucks. There you go. Valiant Pharmaceuticals. VRX is a ticker symbol. Up a buck 60 right now. Amazing. Amazon up a dollar 57. Baidu up a buck 87. Lennar Corp out with numbers, uh, before the bell. Let's go see what their numbers were. Let's go over. Uh, Lennar is trading up, I said, about a buck thirty or so. Let's see what they were telling us about uh, their Q4 revenues. They're up 42%. Nice job there. Uh, $1.9 in uh, home sales. Uh, looks like that was up from $1.7 uh, uh, That doesn't make, that's not 42%. Um, so let's see, their earnings, their earnings were $164 million versus $124 million from the uh, prior year. Nonetheless, they are uh, up nicely here this morning. We'll take a look at that stock chart. Maybe I'll run my little market analyzer on the entire uh, the entire kind of housing uh, stocks out there. I'll show you how that uh, works. You've got uh, JBL Circuit, uh, JBL, that's down about 4 bucks. That's off 19%. Boy, that is getting hammered. wonder if they were out with earnings or what's going on there. Let me see here. Looks like... They may have given uh, Ike. Hmm. Icor signs agreement to acquire aftermarket services business of J Bill Circuit for seven hundred twenty five. Okay, so they're spinning off one of their divisions out here. Go Go Inc is going to the downside. It's off nine percent here this morning. Uh, Ank, Ank, boy, they give me some uh, some tough one here. Is a therapeutics company on. Conova, on Conova. There we go. Uh, o N T X is a ticker symbol. It's off thirteen percent. Market Mark West Energy Partners M W E. That's off three percent. Off about two bucks and change. So. Let's take a quick spin around the uh, markets here, and we'll come back and take a look at some of the longer-term uh, charts out there. So let's take a look here at, uh, let's go take a look at uh, some of the currencies, Goldilocks, what's going on around the world, and then we'll come back and uh, take a look at maybe some of the stocks moving. And Boy, we've just got so much that we can actually do. Let's take a look at Goldilocks here. You've got gold trading out right now, up 2 bucks. It's trading at 12.32, so not a ton of movement. What we do know about gold here is that uh, gold is trading inside that June 28th swing point. That's out at uh, 1179.40. Uh, Maybe that's where a nice buy opportunity sets up. Uh, you know, there should be some movement in Goldilocks here at about 215 or so when Uncle Ben comes out to speak. He can't say it's 215 exactly, but sometime in that general vicinity. At this stage here, well, we know it's trading in the lower part of that uh, swing point. It's trading inside that swing point, and when you trade inside a swing point, it says you can go test the uh, the bottom of it. In this case, here with the with uh, gold trading lower. If we take a look at the silver, uh, silver also doing the uh, same trading. No, uh, silver is not trading inside of the June twenty eighth area. But there's no conviction behind either of these moves here. Just a, some small bodied candle. So uh, silver, silver probably is where we get the. Uh, 
we get the determination as to any kind of a, a breakout that would occur. And it's just simply silver is trading closer to the descending price channel line. That's the that's the top red diagonal line that is going across my uh, screen here. And that's the one that really begins with the open session basically on November 30th out at a price level of about uh, 34, 31 out there. Uh, then you have a whole series of candles. I would use probably the open of the session on February 7th right around uh, 3184. Uh, you've got some additional time touch points out here. You can use the open at uh, September 4th out there. And so that sets up a nice little resistance area. We did see silver trade above that. No conviction, though, when you take a look at the bodies of the candles. Now was between October 23rd and the duct that's head right back into that descending price channel on uh, Halloween. It was a trick, not a treat, as we take a look at uh, silver's failed breakout here. So that's where, with uh, because gold has got much further to go before it gets up to the top of its descending price channel out here. So Maybe we get the first signal here from high ho silver. If we take a look at light sweet crude, you got light sweet crude uh, trading up forty six cents out at ninety seven dollars. Now light sweet crude here is only pulled on this and this little counter trend move thus far to work off the overbought uh, condition. Uh, the retracement now from that's coming off of the low here from November 27th up to the high that was put in on uh, both December 11th and uh, December 10th out here. It's only made a point uh, 382 retracement. I can't tell whether it's trying to set up an A to B equals CD down yet or an A to B equals CD up. We'll know because if price uh, moves above and closes above 98.75 it's setting up an A to B equals CD up. And in that case there uh, depending on the move uh, as that B point is crossed, it uh, could be a strong move. In fact, I would say if that's the A to B equal C D up that it is uh, uh, that it is forming, and I can't tell just yet, I'd say the 105 to 107, I'd say 105 becomes your target. 104.40 to 105.15. On the other hand, it could be set up a small A to B equal C D down, and that, would, that confirmation would come with a close below the December 13th low at 96.26. But uh, at this stage here, I can't tell which of those two patterns it is trying to uh, form. If we take a look at uh, bonds here, really just sideways move. So uh, the Fed having its thumb on bonds, they have basically moved nowhere uh, since uh, the uh, beginning of December out here. Natural gas, on the other hand, if we take a look at natural gas, you know, gap down on uh, Sunday, uh, just really moving sideways over the last couple of uh, trading sessions here, uh, working off of the extreme over uh, bought uh, condition. If you take a look at uh, where this thing could uh, pull back to, Look, just a normal retracement of its move off of the uh, lows out here would say about four dollars and six cents, three eighty-three. That would be nice. That would be your point six one eight retracement. But you have to take things one at a time. At the moment, the gap down has not had any type of follow through or confirmation out there. So that's what's going on inside of natural gas. Inside the currency market out here, let's go uh, peek in on the uh, queen mom. Let's look at the uh, euro. The euro here, not giving it up. It just uh, knows it's up against this resistance area and then that's the weekly chart so it's a long-term resistance we're looking at coming back from the 2008 area but it's not giving it up it just wants to test it wants to test now it has not tested horizontal resistance yet that horizontal resistance price level is 138.31 so move higher by the euro into that rejecting it even a bit higher which will be testing the uh, trend line the black uh, diagonal line coming off of the uh the uh the wick of the candle from July 18th. That high is 160. Uh, point uh, three six, as well as the wick of the candle from May sixth, one forty nine thirty eight out there. Until price breaks above that, um, you know it's just really it's actually trading in a more narrow and more narrow and more narrow trading range out here. So can't say which way the euro is going to uh, break, but uh, it will get. We're you know you're gonna have to be patient because remember this is a weekly chart that we're looking at. So before it gets to its apex, it's not until about the uh, March time frame of two thousand and fourteen. That's what's going on on the uh, weekly basis uh, for the queen, for the euro. Let's take a look at the uh, euro-Japanese yen out here. Here's the weekly chart for the euro-Japanese yen. And if you can find a reversal pattern on this as we speak here right now, well, bless you, because it doesn't exist. And you're standing, and I have to question what you see. Yeah, what is it that you see? Because there is no reversal pattern here yet. Inside the euro-Japanese uh, yen, it's up over its most on the weekly chart, its most significant primary trading range boundary line. That was a the 134.12 level out here. It's also up above 
uh, the uh, swing point, the 100% move of a move that takes you back into June 5th of 2009. So let me, uh, I don't want to erase all of the patterns that are out here. Let's do this. Let's get rid of the, uh, because this is important to take a look at. You know, I'm, we're all looking there. I'm looking for clues. Where are the clues out here with regard to what the market wants to uh, do? So, again, we're looking at some different time frames. Let me delete those two. Okay, so that so far so good. Um, let me go ahead and delete the uh, the uh, Chapman Wave peak counter out here. Um, let's do that. So let's get rid of the account up. And uh, so we clear that from the uh, screen. And now now what we're taking a look at here is swing points are logical areas of, of uh, resistance. In fact, when you are trading and you are putting together your uh, both sides of the trade, right, because every time you trade, you say you're going to follow Stevie's rules. You may not agree with what I see or what I say, but what you will at least do is you will at least adhere to the rules of when you get into a trade, that is when you are most objective and you'll have your brackets. You'll have your stop, depending on if you're going long. So your stop is going to be below your entry, and you're going to have your bracket up at the top. It means you're going to know what your outcome is. Always know your outcome. Now, when you're trading and you're taking a look at different patterns, A, B, C, D, patterns, whatever they might be, remember, one of the things you always want to be paying attention to are natural areas of support and resistance. And those are going to be swing points. Sometimes they're reversal patterns, and then they're really important areas of support and resistance out here. Well, inside the weekly chart for the uh, Euro-Japanese yen, what we can see, it's up above the resistance areas. It was really set up on the weekly chart, the June 5th, 2009 level, the August 2009 level, and the Dece October 2009 level. So you are up above that area, which, by the way, the price point is 139.21. Now it's got freedom to run. There really is no resistance out here inside on a weekly chart for the uh, Euro Japanese yen. And if there's no resistance for the Euro Japanese yen and on a weekly time frame, on the intermediate time frame, because of the correlation that this has to the uh, U.S. stock market, this is saying it wants higher price. Actually, even regardless of what the initial response is to Uncle Ben Bernanke, not until the Euro Japanese yen on a, a weekly basis dips its head back below to say it was a false breakout from here, dips its head back below the 139.21. And maybe this is the biggest signal out here. You know, I. I Look, the universe oftentimes says to me, hey, Rhodes, what kind of life raft do you want me to throw to you? Because I think this is one of those signals that this is saying, hey, guess what? Maybe you think it's all about Uncle Ben Bernanke, but me as a currency pair, uh, the Euro-Japanese yen, I am the one that you really ought to be paying attention to. So on the weekly chart, this is showing a, a nice little breakout here. Now, if you were to take a look at A to B equals CD patterns, geez, this thing has just been a straight shot. Uh, but you still could put together an A to B equals CD pattern. That would be coming off of the low on the weekly chart down on uh, July 27th out at 94.10, up to the highs out here on uh, February the 8th and all the way back down to the uh, low just a couple of weeks though the a couple weeks later on March the uh, 1st out here. That says 152.26 uh, is your one-to-one, -one, but really 161.42 would be its move out here. So that's what the uh, that's what the weekly chart for the uh, Euro-Japanese yen is uh, showing us. Not, then it didn't really mean to belabor that, but, you know, actually it's the first time I'm really paying attention to the mere fact that we have, or it has cleared that resistance area. And you can see it's got the freedom now to run higher out here on a, a weekly uh, time frame. Let's take a look at the Great British Pound. Let's go see what it is uh, doing. Great British Pound came down as we were taking a look at uh, yesterday. Came down, made the point three eight two retracement. It was testing that little sideways consolidation pattern. Really looks a lot like the Dow chart, doesn't it? We take a look at the Dow futures, or you take a look at uh, this chart here. Very similar from a trade pattern standpoint. Now the difference in the Dow, it's got a it's got a consolidation pattern of I don't know what six months, seven months, something like that. This one's a little different. It's only a consolidation pattern from September 16th out here. But now you're seeing wide price spread today, so it is uh, the little trampoline effect. This could be setting up an A to B equals CD. What we do know is by breaking the consolidation, your minimum price objective here inside the Great British Pound is 166-ish and change, 166.2. But the A to B equals CD that now may be forming out here, that will give you a price projection of 168.3. And I would say if it really takes out the uh, swing point from December 10th, and it does that with a wide price spread, it says more like I want to get up to 169. So that will say that the uh, that's where the Great Britain, that's what the 
daily chart that we're looking. Let's go take a look at a a, 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 a uh, I'm sorry. Let's go look at a. I'll get it out. A, 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 there you go. I'll get out uh, the weekly chart here. So the weekly chart. Okay. So on the weekly chart, we looked at this yesterday, and so what we know is big strong resistance out here up at the uh, black horizontal line going across my screen. That is at the price level of about one sixty four six. So we've got the uh, lines drawn in the sand here on the uh, weekly and the daily, and if it can get and close above. Well, in this case here, because of the reversal candle uh, that took place out here on the trading session in May of 2011, May 6th, that really becomes your resistance area. So the top of that is 167.4. So what that really does at 167, and we go back to the uh, daily chart, it is not at all, oh, shoot. Let me redo this A to B equals CD. I said, what, 167.4, something like that. So as we now take a look at the uh, daily potential A to B equals CD, and that's coming off of a C point with some conviction, folks. So this says 168, uh, which is your one-to-one. -one. So that's the area where it looks like the uh, Great British Pound wants to uh, move up to. We'll know for sure if it can clear 164.6 in the uh, marketplace. So that's what's going on in the currency pairs. Uh, we didn't look at the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen. Why don't we do that? Uh, more folks. Uh, trade uh, that pair it's the euro japanese yen that we pay attention to from hey what's going on inside our market here now the u.s dollar japanese yen just really been moving sideways after making that uh, 1.618 uh, butterfly pattern out here now had a, a little conversation going inside of the uh, den during the uh, last break. So we talk about uh, great patterns out here, and they absolutely are fantastic patterns, and they are gartley patterns and butterfly patterns. Oh, I have to I have to just leave you there. I can't tell you what I was gonna tell you. Actually I can. We're just gonna do it when we get back from this next break out here. Right now the Dow's up fifty seven, S and P is up four. We'll be right back, folks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his 
subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Have you subscribed to The Gold Report yet? On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.69% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began. And right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market makes its way back into positive territory after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. Get your 30-day free trial today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 45 points right now. S&P is up one. Uh, NASDAQ composite under a little bit of pressure here. It's off four points. The uh, Russell 2000, that's up a uh, point out here. And I would expect uh, going into the uh, 2 o'clock session, we'll see the market kind of get back to the uh, start line, kind of around the uh, neutral area here, uh, just waiting for uh, information. Now, the, you know, the trend is your friend, folks. If you haven't had a chance yet to uh, sign up for the uh, Mastering Probability uh, newsletter, the free offer, the stocking stuffer that we're offering here at tfnn.com do yourself a favor and go over to the home page right now because this offer expires on uh, thursday it's going to get you access into my uh, workshop where i'll share with you the mo the roads momentum uh, trading strategy whole new set of indicators one of the uh, one of the elements of the uh, trading system is a uh, market analyzer out here, you know, the trend is your friend, and instantly being able to know the uh, trend of a stock or an index or an ETF. And right now, what I've got up here as part of my market now, so I'm going to go ahead. Lennar was out with uh, earnings before the uh, uh, bell out here. Uh, the stock was up. I don't know if it's still up or not. And I've got an area here, a little uh, the home builders, I think. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just simply insert this, and it's going to list, uh, I don't know, a series of maybe about 50 or 60 different home housing related type of stocks out here, you know, from Home Depot to uh, Armstrong uh, Flooring, to Bed Bath & Beyond, to Beacon Roofing, to KB Homes, to Masco Corp, uh, Pulte Homes. I mean, just really, you know, Sherwin-Williams, the whole group. And what this is doing as we speak right now, it's going out and it's utilizing it's utilizing what I have developed as a, a trend trend based system out here, and that's really what I'm going to be sharing with folks on a Thursday. I'm going to be showing you how you can create this system on your own trading platform. So it's not where you're going to go to a workshop. And I'm going to try to sell you something, folks. This is this is this is a this is a this is a gift. This is a pearl. This is like uh, you know somebody coming down to you and says, "Look, I've got this uh, trading bag of tools, and you." Here's the deal. You can reach in, and you can pull these tools out, and if you see a tool that you like, then that one is uh, yours. And if you put it down and you go take a look at the next tool, you can't have this this next one. I don't know if I'm going to teach this again uh, from, from this point. I really don't know what I will do from the uh, future standpoint. So now is the time for you to take advantage of Now, as you're watching us on Tiger TV, what it's doing, it's going and it's taking a look at the monthly trend first. So it's scanning the entire list of stocks, uh, you know, anywhere from something that's under a retracement, I'll explain what all these things mean so that it will aid you in your trading. But when you are trading, whether it's Gartley's Butterflies, whatever it is that you're trading, whatever swing points, whatever it is, understanding the trend is very key out here. So this is helping you to understand what's the monthly trend, what's the weekly trend, what's the daily trend out here. Now, as a newsletter subscriber, each day I cover all 500 stocks inside the S&P 500. And I produce a list that shows you the strongest trending bullish stocks on all three time frames and the weakest 
uh, the weakest stocks. I also go through the entire NDX 100, the IBD 50 list, the uh, Dow out there, and I consolidate those lists so that with one and uh, each of the indexes, the ETF, so you can understand what the trends are on different time frames. And folks, that should impact your trading decisions out here. The trend is your friend, and you need to really make sure you know what's going on at least one floor above you. Now, what's cool about this is that this requires no technical skills whatsoever because all the work is done for you. So you do not need to be a technician to attend this workshop. You don't need to be a technician to be able to learn the data that's provided in the newsletter. Uh, if you, In fact, you don't have to be a technician. So even if you just trade fundamentally, you want to understand what the uh, trends are. So do yourself a favor. Now is the time. Go sign up for Mastering Probability. Folks, you'll get access into tomorrow's wor a workshop. And if you can't be there, that's okay. It's on your members page for uh, 30 days. So have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. I'll see you in just a a few or tomorrow morning. Take care. Have a great Wednesday. Thanks for being here. I believe that we're all here to contribute something unique and that deep within us lies a special gift, a special talent, our own bit of genius just waiting to be tapped into. When it comes to trading and investing, I can help you tap into yours. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN, and on Thursday, December 19th, I'm hosting a one-hour workshop where I'll share with you my most incredible discovery yet, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator. I developed this tool with one outcome in mind, to do what nobody else considered possible, to put the power of the most advanced indicator, scanner, and trading strategy in the hands of people just like you and me. I can promise you this, you'll never look at a chart the same way again. This event is available to all subscribers to my newsletter service, Mastering Probability, which for the holidays is available free for the next 30 days. No charge whatsoever to new subscribers and no obligation on your part. Please join me by going to the homepage of TFNN.com to sign up for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity.